My shit is butter for the bread they wanna toast me. I keep my head both of them where they supposed to be. Hoes that get you sidetracked or clap from closed feet. I don't sleep. I'm tired. I feel why I like cold bean. These days, people gotta admire me from my Facebook page away. My pain, wish it was quick to flee. Can't lie, at the time it never bothered me. At Hottie's Bar, getting my hustle on properly. My squad and me, lack of respect for authority. Laughing hard, happy to be escaping poverty. However brief, I know these games got valleys and peaks. Anticipation for dips, I stack chips quality. It's good, man, I'm about to get my chicken and watch this game. Just wanna address something because people say I'm ignorant or I'm wrong. Now, let me say this, ignorant shit. That's what they said, ignorant shit. See, I don't have a problem with somebody disagreeing when I actually see them on my page or they actually click like or interact with me. But when it's only people who come on my page just to inter, uh, disagree, I have a problem with that because we already know what time that is. You know, I'm not the guy that hurt these women. Why are you mad at me? I'm not the one that put the dick in you and left you with the kids and all this and that. Don't be mad at me. Be mad at them motherfuckers. I'm happy out this motherfucker, all right? Now, I'm ignorant because I understand that a woman's pussy gets wet determining, determining on the man. People say, nah, that's not true, Tawan. There's no way. Okay, then. How come you only get hard or certain women make you hard or even harder than other women? Certain women make you harder than other women. That is just a fact. Matter of fact, your own woman, your own woman that you're with, if you if you make her mad enough where y'all fighting and not getting along and shit like that, she will stop getting wet for you. So explain to me the ignorance, because it's because I'm ignorant. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm about to get amped up. I got to. Because when people try to play me like I don't know what I'm talking about in life, I don't like that. It's okay to disagree, but don't call me ignorant because all these women agree with me. You know what I mean? All these women are agreeing with me. Except a couple of few that want to argue. So I'm not arguing with that. Anyways. A, one, a one, de Depending on the woman makes you how hard you can get or how hard you can get. So why would it not apply for a woman? People say this is bullshit. Okay, well then explain to me why your woman ain't the same wetness every single time y'all have sex. Or explain to me why me and another guy can fuck the same woman and he'd be like, she got some wet ass pussy. I'm not answering that comment. You want to talk to me? Come on this video. I ain't, got, I ain't got time for that today. I'm in a good mood and Satan will not take it from me. And he will not send nobody on my page to take it. Anyways, we, we're about to have fun with this video. Explain to me how if me and another man fuck the same woman, me and another man fuck the same woman, explain to me, oh, she got some wet ass pussy. I'm like, you sure, dog? Or vice versa. So people are trying to say that God just somehow said, hey, I'm not going to let you get wet because it requires really you to be lub lubricant to be uh, have sex. I'm not going to bless you with that, but I'm going to bless this one. Or I'm not going to let you get hard to one, but I'm going to make that other motherfucker. I get it. Some people have rational dysfunction and shit. I get it. Some women are not, um, what do you call it? They're not, their sex drive is not as high as other women. But I'm trying to tell you this. A woman's wetness is will be based off of a man. If a woman really don't want to fuck a man, she's not going to be wet. Motherfuckers act like she's going to be gushing and shit. A woman don't even imagine this shit. A woman getting raped or something, God forbid and shit, but I'm just saying, she's not going to be wet. It's the same pussy. So what? Why I don't understand how people feel like there's different personalities in a pussy or something, like a pussy just switches off. No, it's the same fucking pussy. It's the same one. It's the men who determine that shit, man. If the, the more the woman like that man, the more she want that man and desire that man, her shit going to be fucking waterfalls. This is why when you first get with women and y'all first in, in the beginning stage of the relationship, the shit be wet than the motherfucker. Then later, yeah, it's still wet, but not, not like in the beginning unless she really super horny that night and shit like that. Ain't no woman about to get fucking dripping wet for a man she does not want. Ain't no man about to get hard for a woman he completely does not desire. So this is what men are telling me, because 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 some men are disagreeing. So you're telling me that any a crackhead, ugly ass, cri 
Tales from the Crypt woman could come up to you and make your dick hard. That's what you're telling me? If so, then I, hey, man, that's your problem. But my dick don't get hard for anybody. My dick gets hard easy, too. But not for any fucking woman. Or should I put it like this? Other women can make my dick harder than certain ones. Put it like that. Because that's really the topic. But everybody want to put this crown on their head like their pussy just so much wetter than the next woman. And, and God just blessed them with everything. And, and he just didn't give this to the other woman and all this bullshit, man. It's not true. It's based on the man I'm trying to tell you, man. If not, then why can the same man fuck the same woman? Her pussy be wet sometimes and not sometimes. It all depends on that woman. For one, if she feels like having sex. For two, sometimes when that woman's not feeling her man no more, like I'm mad at this motherfucker, he cheated on me or something like that, she don't even want to have sex with the motherfucker, let alone get wet. Let me run that by y'all one more time. When a woman gets tired of a man a lot of times, she don't even desire to have sex with the motherfucker. That's what men don't get. You still can have sex with a woman. Uh, uh, you mad at your woman. You still be wanting to have sex. Women don't want that, man. They not even wet. They not even into it. Because now you're the same guy. Yeah, but she's mad at you. So think about it. Since it's more of a mental thing, wouldn't that apply when a woman is feeling the man versus I don't really want this man? Imagine a woman having sex with a man she don't want. I promise you she's not going to be wet. She might be a little slightly, but she's not going to be dripping wet. Wet ass pussy. Ain't that the topic? I don't even need to touch on this shit no more because I already know what time it is. I know from experience what time it is. I ain't got to argue over this shit. It is what it is. People can say what they want. You know what I'm saying? But I challenge the people who say that it's not true. I challenge the woman who says it's not true. Go fuck a guy that you don't want. And tell me if your pussy get wet. I challenge a man to say it's not true. Go find a woman that you know you don't like and try to pay her to fuck you. I bet she don't get wet. She's not going to get wet like a man that she like. That's the whole point. We can nitpick all day, oh, a little bit more wet, this and that. I ain't got time for that. I'm just basically trying to say a woman's wetness in her fucking private is going to be based off of how much she desires to fuck a man. Plain and simple. Just like a man. If you don't feel like fucking, you don't get hard. Unless you got some erectional dysfunction, I don't know. Because I thank God I don't, thank God I don't experience that. So I don't know. That's all I'm saying. But... I do know this as a man, if you desire a woman, you're going to get hard. The better, the more you desire the woman, the harder you're going to fucking get. This is common sense. Why am I even arguing with, I'm not done, I'm done with it. Anyway, let's talk about, uh, don't put uh, weight on your uh, partners. Let's talk about that. Because some people feel like, oh, this person loves me, so they should fucking basically hang they fucking self to love me for forever and ever. I, I understand, man. When you really care about somebody, you do a lot you sacrifice a whole lot man but at some point everybody has a breaking point at some point you keep dumping weight off on your partner they're going to become unhappy let's say a man a man wants to uh, treat a woman no doubt about it but every fucking time he turns around his woman give me this give me this give me this she doesn't even consider oh let me let me try to uh get some of the money get some money myself so i can take some of the weight off of my man i know my man wants to take care of me but i don't want to put all the weight on him or another example, I know my ma my woman likes to cook, but I'm going to go ahead and cook today because I know she works hard and I don't want to put all the unnecessary weight on her. It's unnecessary for me not to cook today because I'm right here and she's at work. Why wouldn't I do this? It's just little things that can help your partner and take weight off of them. But everybody want to just dump the weight on their partner. Oh, you're my partner. I, I, you're supposed to love me to the end. So I'm just going to dump unnecessary shit on you. I'm not saying don't go to your partner when you have wants and needs, of course. But, you know, you could, I'm, I'm going to let this one slide. I ain't going to, don't worry about cooking tonight. I got this. You know, it's just, it's just little things like that that help that partner. That helps your partner be able to survive for another day instead of weighing them down with weight till they basically dead and have no energy to give to you, let alone to the weight that you're putting on them. It's very important. That's why I say when it comes to relationships, man, the best, happiest ones are probably going to be the ones of people who don't really need each other, but want each other. Like they don't really need each other as far as maybe mentally because they care. You know, they feel like they need each other because they care. We get that part. But we're talking about like, like Beyonce, Jay-Z, they really don't need each other. They don't. But guess what? Since they don't need each other, 
But in a relationship, it takes so much weight off of shit. I don't have to run to Beyonce for everything. He don't have to run to be, uh, or she don't have to run to Jay-Z for every fucking thing. Certain things she can handle on her own. It's called being an adult, to be honest. And a person could love you to death, but you start putting too much weight on them at some point, they're going to break. Like, fuck it, I'm not happy. You, They become unhappy. Every time you talk to a woman, oh, I need money, I need money, but yet she blows her money on weed or something. Think about that. This could make a man unhappy. Every time you talk to a man, he needs money, uh, but he blows all his all the rent money on Jordans and shit. At some point, that woman's going to start feeling a certain type of way. Like, you're not making good decisions as a leader and as a man. It's not that they don't love you. It's the fact that you everybody has a breaker point at some point and they become unhappy. They still might like you and care about you and really want to work it out with you, but they're becoming unhappy because of certain things. Just like a woman could say, I don't care about you playing PlayStation. And, you know, I don't care. I'd rather my man play PlayStation be out chasing hoes. But come on, man, give me some attention a little bit. You don't got to play fucking 24-7. See, she don't care that the fact that she's willing to sacrifice you playing PlayStation a little bit. Some even buy one for you. But come on, man, you got to sacrifice a little bit. You got to sacrifice, too. You got to sacrifice the PlayStation a little bit and spend time with her, too. This goes into every category of a relationship. Every little thing where you got to uh, gotta balance shit out, man, and, and take some weight off of each other. But nobody, people don't want to do that. And that's the ones that's not going to make it, unfortunately. Even when it comes to sex. Man, my, my woman had sex with me for the last five nights. Uh, but I'm going to be greedy and just ask for a sixth one. Even though I'm not even horny tonight, I'm just going to do it anyway. You, you might as well just chill one night, man. You really don't want it? Tonight, I mean, come on, give her one day to break. Give her a break so she can come back even harder. That's all I'm saying, man. And you can take that with sex, anything. Anything in a relationship. People need to let motherfuckers breathe a little bit. And, and have. this is the most important thing. When it comes to uh, relationships and your partner take a weight off of them, certain things you're like, can I really handle this myself? Do I really need? Do I really need my woman to do this right now? A, a perfect example: a woman's at work, I'm at home on my day off. Do I really need her to? I need my shirt washed and I need some food. Do I really gotta sit back and wait? Oh, you the woman, I'm gonna wait on her to come home and cook and do that. Come on, man. It's just certain shit that we can handle on our own. Just because you're in a relationship with somebody don't mean that it, it means they take care of you. Nah, they're supposed to love you. That's the whole point. Not take care. It's not kids. This, this is not kids. It's supposed to be adults. I'm out.